back at Home Depot and I am excited to show you. They actually have some things in stock that I bought last year and tried and loved and they are much more expensive other places. This is the Zephyrin Druin. I don't know how you say it. Um, they sell this on the David Austin website. It was beautiful in my backyard and it grew over six feet the very first year. It's good in uh, it says full sun, but if you Google it, it also comes up with some kind of part shade situations, which is what I had, and it's not super thorny. I mean, it says thornless, which I wouldn't go that far, but I liked it. I'm a fan. John Davis, another one I love. I got this one actually from a different store two years ago, and this is what I have planted in my portage, my back vegetable garden up against the fence, and I really do like this one as well. Uh, it's done amazingly well. Shout out to my friend Hillary over at Meadowlark Park for letting me use her beautiful photos. What in the world? They have iceberg roses here. That's crazy. So this is what I have in my backyard. It's also fairly thornless. It does have thorns, but it's amazing and beautiful. I love this rose. One of the things I love about it the most is its absence of thorns because my kids can come out and deadhead or prune this rose and it's not tragic. Like it can be with some other roses. This one, you don't even have to deadhead. It will bloom all summer long. In my head, it's I call it the popcorn bush in my head because it just keeps going and going and going. And I love it. I just wanted to get some height off of it here. And so I cut it back right after the first bloom and then it just exploded. Oh my gosh, this makes me so happy. Look at the racks finally showing up in my store. These are so, so pretty. Beautiful, they're so delicate. There they are. I'm excited to see these, so excited. They have done so well in my office. I especially love this one the purple on the bottom of my leaves so I'm gonna show you these by my fireplace as well because when they're up on the top shelves of somewhere that's hard to reach like styling by a fireplace it's really nice to be able to one see how much water is in there and two not have to water it all the time so huge fan of these I really really like them what can I say I needed one more <laughs> I just did the Easter lilies just showed up at my Home Depot as well so I'm gonna grab one to make an arrangement out of. Espalier trees were a very hot item last year. If you are looking for a pear or a multi-apple branch grafted tree, you might wanna start looking now. If you live in Utah, these are gonna go fast. I love this mix of violas. I just love it. And then they have a beautiful, they have a beautiful pansy mix also. And I am not a yellow person, so this is really saying a lot. If you want a tip, a little tip for shopping for hellebores, these have gone on clearance most years that I've seen them at the garden center. As soon as the flowers start to fade, they tend to deadhead them and clearance them out. So they're kind of a pricey plant because it takes several years for them to bloom and people want to buy them when they're blooming but they sure are beautiful. I'll be honest with you, I'm actually kind of shocked because the ranunculus was already half sold out compared to when I was here just a couple days ago. So I decided to grab a couple more things. I wanted to make a pretty Eastery centerpiece, a second one, because one for each of my two tables. Look how pretty these poppies are. Well, friends, that is it for my Home Depot shopping deal alert for this weekend. I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe. Leave me comments, tell me what you want to see. See you soon. Happy gardening.